Hey guys, we're back. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and it's time for that big question. And of course, the big question usually by our own DJ Lunchbox, who is on hiatus for the month of March. He's out in the Appalachias somewhere tracking bears and 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 making friends with Sasquatches or whatever it is. But this week, the big question is actually going to come to us from the Riz, who joins us right now at the E Riz, and also check out those fantastic writings over at InsertCoin to Begin dot com, where he talks about video games of all things. Riz, mm-hmm. thank you, thank you for joining us there with a big question for the week. Lay it on us. Well, you're welcome, Sorg. Uh, so, I actually posted this on the Facebook group because I think this is a big question that we needed to discuss more than just here. Uh, so, and I, I did tell the people who are supposed to be on the show today not to answer on the Facebook group. Okay. So the question I put on is a question that we've been trying to get through for the net for the last two, three weeks now. Um, it's about the hall of fame. <gasps> the uh, hall of fame. And no, we've don't, been don't, discussing don't, this hold on. Today. Don't do that again, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, don't, I'm not going to. Don't we, do that we, will get, we will get thrown out. Uh, we have been discussing this to death the entire month. As soon as they announced uh, Rikishi, we had some discussion about it. As soon as they announced uh, Connor, we had more discussion about it. And we still had discussion when Larry Zabisco got inducted into Hall of Fame this week. Um, so my... This is actually a two-parter. Uh-oh. One, what are your requirements for being in the Hall of Fame? Like, what, what would you recommend? Like, if you were a voter, what would you – who would you vote – why would you vote for this guy? Okay. So, so and, bro- broadly, you're looking for the roles? Yeah. Like, like dedication, like pretty much like a job interview type thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the second part of the question is, out of the people that aren't in it yet, who would you choose by your qualifications, by your recommendations, by your requirements for this one? Um, I, have, I have a quick question about the second part. Is that sure. assuming all legal things are out the window? Yes. Okay. Oh, here we go. You know what name's well, coming no, up I'm, now. I'm just saying. Just okay. Who wants to go first? Man, or should we read the Facebook comments first? Yeah, we. Uh, you know what? Let's read the Facebook comments. All right, uh, let me let me roll this one. Let me roll this yeah, one. You, you um, so Gabriel, who's joined us more recently on the Wrestling Mayhem Show group, uh, hi Gabe. Uh, hi Gabe. Uh, I actually like great conversations he's he's having over there with us. Uh, G- Gabe says, "Is it Gabe? Are we allowed to call him Gabe? I don't know. If, I don't know. But like, it's Gabe." I don't, I don't. I mean, we're so official here on. on I, I feel we're on a first name basis. Okay, so. hi Gabe, but we're shorting well, it as well. His first name is Gabriel as well, so a nickname like... basis then. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so the requirements are longevity, impact, memories. It's pretty simple. If they made an impact, or I remember them for their gimmick, skills, etc., they eventually should get in. Mm-hmm. And as for who should get in, Steiner Brothers. I can agree with Ooh. that. Steiner Brothers definitely need to. Um, uh, Tony Garza, WrestlingRevolution.com. Uh, requirement to have given your work for the rest. To have given your work for the yeah, wrestling yeah, business. To have given a pos- positive improvement on the industry. To have a memorable impact on the history of pro wrestling. This is for us, uh, the fans, and for the WWE, the company, to express their appreciation to the wrestlers and other important people, announcers, bookers, Jim's Johnston, etc., for all of the work that they have done for us. Uh, who should mm-hmm. be in? Brooklyn Brawler. I agree with that as well. I think we talked about that in the past, actually. Um, Charles Gross. Gloss. I'm sorry. Cool. Charles Gloss. My bad. My bad. Um, I'll, I'll give some people I think should be in. Bam Bam Bigelow, Lex Luger, IRS, Tatanka, Bader, Alundra Blaze. Well, of course, Alundra's going to be in there this mm-hmm. year. Probably a lot more. Excuse me if I... Hold on. Oh, excuse me if I mentioned somebody that's already in there. And, uh, yeah, I, I agree with all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, now, for me, um, I really kind of echo a little bit of uh, uh, Tony and Gabriel here, Gabe. Um, 
because I know we have a lot of conversation about, oh, why does he deserve to be in? He's Coco Beware, right? But for mm-hmm. me, Coco Beware was a highlight. You know, Rikishi was a highlight, I think. And even if he wasn't for you because of whatever age you are, Rikishi is a highlight in the same way Coco Beware is to me, to somebody who was the same age, right? Um, It's not just for us looking for, you know, you don't have to be a champion. You don't have to have been in the main event on a WrestleMania SummerSlam. You have contributed. That's that's my thing. You contributed something positive to the business. And whether that be a memory, whether that be this, whether you be Pete Rose getting uh, Tombstone three times, whether you be Arnold, even Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, uh, being involved. Because anytime and you say celebrities, anybody, somebody like that's been involved and say, well, he did like one thing with us like years ago. Right. And it's like, yeah. well, that's still a positive influence because he's freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger and he likes pro wrestling. And that gives a positive spin versus we were kind of talking but i think was it the last segment or on break about cbs they're not going to play with that fake fighting you know that's the industry mindset in a lot of places but when you get guys like him coming out and getting involved and really putting a positive influence on that so uh who should be in let's go with that celebrity wing i think i may have mentioned this on the show before uh celebrity wing i want uh hugh jackman eventually seth green and uh bob barker also i Celebrity Wing, I think you have to also include um, – oh, Christ, now I can't think of his name. Hmm. Uh, go with someone else. I, I just had it. Okay, no problem, no problem. Um, Alex, what do you got? Uh, as far as criteria, I'm going to say that they have to be at least as good as Pete Rose. <laughs> okay, uh, not just celebrities. Or, or are you talking across no. the board? <laughs> I mean in general, no. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I kind of going off of what you were saying, what others have said. Uh, ideally, I would love to just like people that are making like a big impact overall, like whether it's in ring or backstage or even like through the publicity stuff in wrestling as a whole. But realistically, since this is the WWE Hall of Fame, if you get that sense of that, then yeah, absolutely. Like, but that's why generally I I'm okay with like who they typically induct into it. Mm-hmm. As far who, as who I would like to see in it, um, it's just like celebrity wing wise, I would love to see uh, I'd love to see Andy Kaufman in, uh, mm. oh yes, especially because of like his feud with uh, Jerry the King Lawler, how that helped yeah. bring like wrestling into a mainstream so early on, um, like especially like the Southern wrestling, like the Memphis wrestling, helped bring that into the mainstream attention. Uh, so yeah, that would be. I think that would be someone that I would love to see in the Hall of Fame. I sadly, I don't think you're going to get Andy Kaufman in the Hall of Fame because they like to have their celebrities to be alive. Yeah. Because otherwise, what's the point of saying there's going to be a celebrity induction if that celebrity isn't there to be inducted? Right, but I think that's one of those things that can maybe transcends that a little bit. It could. Potentially, this I don't is know. Also, Wait, eh. This is also Andy Kaufman we're talking about. Yeah, he'll yeah. probably show up to <laughs> the induction ceremony. At the very yeah. least, Tony Clifton would, right? <laughs> right, 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 right. And then we'll have the question, and maybe it'll be a mama uh, video like Mr. T. But uh, uh, the Wrestle Genius on the Twitter. <laughs> what do you think? I, to me, I, I'm actually going to go the other way with this in terms of who should be in the hall of fame. I think it should actually be much more strict. I I think there are way too many guys in. Um, I think they put way too many guys in every year and I understand why they do that. It's PR ploy and the whole deal, you know, it's wrestling, but to me, hall of fame is the truly top notch kind of guys that the guys that are main eventers, you know, more so than, guys who made an impact like at this point now who's the best wrestler who's not in at this point mm-hmm. mike rotondo i mean owen hart oh no owen hart. yeah i go with owen hart owen hart rick rude uh you got you got a couple guys that are yeah but, 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 but let's talk about this for a second here with, let's go with rick rude who we all agree was great but wonderful feuds throughout the 80s and into the 90s uh, you know even in was a big part of wrestling even after he, he was Physically yeah. unable to, to, to really wrestle or whatever. Did he ever main event anything? SummerSlam. Oh, is, yeah. Cage match at SummerSlam. 
right? He was also or, well, it, and because they do kind of count stuff outside of WWE, he had, was had a long run as WCW champion. He did, he did. Feud with Sting. Was, you know. was he the actual world champ, or was he? Yeah. No, he he wasn't the world champion. He was the North American champion, I believe. So this is oh. still like sort of an NWA. Yeah, but but they're even they're counting Zabisco's like AWA stuff. And like, Absolutely, yeah. I, I, I to me Zabisco is a legend and, and whatever, but.